Trigger Happy here and I'm back again with my second tutorial. This is another map transition tutorial but I believe this is as good or even better than the first one that I showed you guys and I just want to apologize in advance because I really don't speak English that much so yeah just bear with me so here's the final product. See how he runs from a villa into Nuketown Usually you have to end your game and go switch maps to be able to do it this quickly, but I'll teach you how to do it within 5 seconds. The program you need to do this is Adobe After Effects, so if you don't have it, there's ways of getting it, so yeah. So open up After Effects and import your clips. and then put the clip that with the door that you want the player to run through which is uh, Villa for me, you just drag that clip and create a new composition and I'm just gonna trim this down to 4 seconds and 16 frames let's go to edit and split layer and delete the first layer let me resize this screen for 200 and then I'm gonna import my Nuketown clip and drag it on there and this one I'm gonna split to 2 seconds and 24 frames go to edit and split layer this effect you could use it on uh, montages which will really add a nice touch to them so let's begin Alright, I just want to say that this is going to be a little time consuming, so just bear with it because the final product is going to look amazing. So what you want to do now is select your pen tool, which is to create masks. So just zoom in on your clip. Hold on, let me try this down and basically mask out the door. So as you can see after you max it out, it max out the door so you see outside and not inside. So what we want is inside so we're going to go to the clip that we masked, go to masks and click inverted. So what you see now is the inside of Villa but the outside of Nuketown. Or you see Nuketown outside the door basically. So I'm just going to add a quick feather to this to really smoothen out the edges so I'm just gonna add uh, maybe a 30 ah uh, 29 looks good yeah it looks actually no bring it down a little bit maybe it's like a 10 alright that looks better so now you want to animate the math pass because when you when he runs as you can see it it don't follow or stay with the door so now just go back to the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch on mass path mask path and basically press the page down on your keyboard and go forward three frames and then now you just want to select back the selection tool and hold shift or press shift in the left click at the same time which basically uh, unfills this little box so you can move it again so now just move it to stick with the door and go for three frames again and move it to the door you basically want to do this until he is through the entire door so at the end when he's through the door the mask is going to be around the whole screen so I'll go for three frames again one two three and move it to fit the door I'm not uh, taking my time with this so it's going to be it's going to look a little crappy but when you guys are doing it, just make sure you take the time to get that really good effect. And you can go like uh, 
two frames instead of three to get that perfection better. Three frames again, one, two, three. And bring it down. One, two, three. Sorry this is uh, taking so long, but trust me, it's worth it. While I'm doing this, I just want to give a shout out to Tutorial Cinema for uploading my last tutorial. They've been a really big help to me and I just want to thank them for all they've done for me so now just uh, keep doing this one two three One, two, three. And we're almost done, guys. Uh, looks good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's bring this to the edge of the screen. This one I'm going to put right there. And finally, one, two, three. And now just finish it off. So let me fit this to 100%. And as you play it, you see he runs through the door. But I don't know if you could see this, but the weapon is a little off. So basically what you want to do is you want the gun to be even with itself. So I'm just going to drag the bottom clip until it lines up perfectly with right there. So as you can see, that's perfect. And now he runs through the door. So I don't know, you guys could probably see this, but there's like a different uh, color correction on this, the default because Nuketown is brighter and this is actually inside so it's a lot darker so what I'm gonna do is on the layer that's brighter which is the bottom layer for Nuketown I'm just gonna go to effect color correction and add a color curve to it and basically just make it kinda uh, you no know, matches up the color so there's add a red bring this up a little bit uh, and finally I'm gonna add a blue uh, see now it's perfect right there so now when you play it back see with the same kind of feeling or look to it so he runs through to Newtown and I'm gonna add a, I'm just gonna add a adjustment layer. You don't have to do this because probably most of you guys don't have magic bullet looks. So I'm just gonna add a adjustment layer. If you do have an adjustment or magic bullet looks, just go to layer, new, and add an adjustment layer. And then to that adjustment layer, you wanna go to effect, and then add magic bullet looks and I'm just gonna click edit and the color correction I'm gonna put on this is I just wait till this loads I'm just gonna add a blue sky or maybe a basil 
uh, a blue sky looks good and see it looks much much better kind of have this like uh, sadistic dark feel into it with this color correction kind of feel like Nuketown is night now so yeah I'm just gonna trim this down in RAM preview to see how it looks right click trim layer and hold on let me switch this, this to half and RAM preview that looks pretty good so that's how you switch maps in five seconds I think this is a, a very good good transition as good as the one I showed before and again guys uh, if you guys want tutorials for me to do just like put your suggestion in the description of the video or the comment section I don't know what you want to call it and then uh, if there's like a effect you see in a different video or a montages just put it put the link to the video in the description and put the part and just say to me like if you want me to or see how you guys want me to do that then I'll take a look at the video and try to recreate it and if I successfully recreate it then I will make a tutorial on it but thanks guys again I just want to say thank you to Tutorial Cinema and bye guys thank you very much